In this week's episode of The Internet Stays Undefeated, South African-born singer-songwriter Tyler recently stopped by Kai Sinat's stream. Baby Swift, baby The young brother was mercilessly trolled by his audience after he asked Tyler out on a date. Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Would Don't like... do that. I'm serious. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Why not? It's, t it's true for there. Um, but we're friends, though. You're right. Yeah, we're friends. You're right. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Go ahead. <clears throat> This is a win-win for Kai Sinat. There's literally no negatives <laughs> whatsoever. Because either A, you ask her out on a date and she says yes, or B, you ask her out on a date, she says no. Clips go viral, the audience is entertained, people are down there in the comment section. But apparently everybody wasn't happy with Tyler's appearance. Adult entertainer, perennial thought, who thinks that her opinions matter, Mia Khalifa responded to the date tweet by saying, like I get wanting to cultivate that young audience, but at what cost? Stay away from these little streamers. Followed up by the most perfect response ever by another Twitch streamer by the name of Phase Your Age. And I can't show it right here, but it is a picture of Mia being stuffed and filled by her favorite BBCs. Getting career advice or life advice from someone who made her career by being involved in the S industry is like asking an obese person for weight loss advice or asking a homeless person about budgeting their money or buying real estate. While everyone is entitled to an opinion, Mia, yours are invalid. Historically, women needed men because that's how the oppression structure was set up. We were hostages. We couldn't have credit cards, couldn't own property, couldn't vote, had no voice. Well, of course, we'd partner up with a man because we needed one so that we didn't starve to death because men used force to keep us under their thumb. Now, fortunately, things have evolved. And guess what? We don't need men. So if it comes to being in a relationship, it's a matter of bringing something to the table. And if what you're bringing to the table is a toddler like mentality where you are running around, running amok, expecting a mommy and expecting some kind of subordinate, uh, you know, concubine kind of setup. No woman wants that. So of course you see so many men who are single because they've never realized that they need to actually be tolerable individuals. By this point in your journey and understanding the content that I upload over here, you should be able to recognize these women for who that they are at the first sign that they open their mouth. They are man haters walking man haters that have established this idea or this revisionist history of what the patriarchy was in a far gone time that they weren't even born in as a way to help them understand the relationship failures that they currently go through right now. And because of those relationship failures and their lack of therapy multiplied with their lust for feminism, they just walk off in life and create podcasts and go up on news, radio shows, just talking shit as if what they say is true and or correct. These are generally left-leaning women. They're generally woke women. These women are generally aging, undergoing face reconstructive surgeries and mouth surgeries, trying to continue to hold on to what degree of youth that they have, because secretly, deep down inside, they want a man. When the camera are not on them, when they're not in their echo chambers with their girlfriends, they cry themselves to sleep at night while they use their giant purple veiny dildo and their tears as natural lubricant as their cats meow in the background. It's really a sad life. And when you put it into that perspective, the perspective of that hurt people are trying to hurt people. And she uses this cloud of men and a patriarchy and how nasty that men are and how, who do you think that you are expecting all of these things from women? It's all the guys, right? They're in deep psychological need. They need deep therapy for their wounds. And I just feel sorry for them at the end of the day, you know? I, I could sit here and poke fun at her, but I, I legitimately feel so sorry for you. I feel bad for you, ma'am. And as a result, they are single because nobody wants your so Of course, just like a job, if you want to actually do well and actually have the opportunity to have that, you need to develop the skills to be in a relationship. The pot calling the kettle black. We need the skills, ma'am. <laughs> like.
<laughs> oh, God. You know, what's crazy about this is that, again, you guys have to be very mindful of, you know, she's a little bit older of a woman, but, you know, she's very attractive, right? So her DMs, her text messages, they're filled with suitable options, but what she wants is just not attracted to her or what she wants just wants her insides. And then that's it. So that's where the hurt comes from. Undoubtedly, women like this have a journal underneath their mattress with people that they hate name on it, such as a Kevin Samuels. It's just so easy at this point in my journey and doing content like this to read women like this for filth. I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day. So naturally, I followed him to the checkout counter. And when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profile. And through social media, she finds his mom, who is apparently part of this book club. She joins that book club. She attends a meeting of that book club. She meets his mom, has no a way. conversation with her. By chance, lets her know that she is single as a Pringle. Mom thinks, oh, this is great. My son is single. Let me match you up with him. They exchange numbers and he ends up setting up a date with her. If a guy did this, they'd have the CIA, the FBI, and the ATF on his ass. <laughs> This is not cute behavior. This is stalking and harassment. And it's not cute that a woman, a grown woman is doing this. Two things here. Obviously there's a double standard going on because if a man did this, he would be labeled a creep and a stalker. Two, I think this highlights how bad women are at just approaching a guy and introducing herself. Like right. she would rather find a way to find his name so that she can then find him on social media so that she can confirm that he's single. She will literally spend 10 hours of her life trying to figure out if this guy is Mr. Right before she even says hi to him. These comments are absolutely perfect. Women absolutely have have no game, but will criticize every man's game. You're right about the double standard. A man telling the exact same story on social media would have gotten blasted. That's the actual behavior of a psychopath. The woman is most definitely a stalker. Predators are predators regardless of the gender. This chick really said, so naturally I followed him. Like, <laughs> like yo, if a guy said that, so I saw the chick by the casualist, so naturally I followed her, looked at her name, oh my God. They would have figured out how to get him on the sex offender registry list. Let's go. So my brother just married a woman he's only known for seven months. Congratulations to my brother, and I love him, right? That's but quick. this is the twist. He was with a woman for 10 years. Everything she asked my brother to do, he is doing for this woman that he has only known for seven months. Bottom line, bro, I love you if you're watching this, but I had to share it. Stop begging these men to do things you need to be done because he is not going to change for you he will never be the man you need him to be because you are not the woman that he wants to be with people change for who they want to change for stop preaching and start waiting patiently for your husband i can't disagree with her on this i think that a guy that is serious about a young lady he makes it extremely known i know kevin samuels would disagree with me but him getting married after just seven months is wild nevertheless i cannot disagree with this young lady right here i think that it's a human nature thing that you really can't change people. You can coach them into being what you think might be more valuable or beneficial for them. But I'd argue that I think that men are far less coachable on average than women. Now I'm talking about masculine men, which are a lot more competitive in nature or disagreeable in nature in comparison to a feminine woman, which is more uh, receivable in nature. Where are the men that actually care about emotional connection? Well, the first place that some women should look that are actually asking that question would be the friend zone. You know, that place that a lot of women put men that actually show them kindness, consideration and understanding. I've seen her content before. I like her stuff. Try looking there first. Like, where are the men that actually want to build something with their person? And the second place that some of these men will be found will be sitting quietly in their homes, enjoying the peace and tranquility that comes with being single. <laughs> Facts. Like, where? Look at it. Where are they? One's not going to find them up there. Because I don't understand. I don't understand. It's just like that's long gone. Emotional, spiritual, and mental connection is completely fucking gone, apparently. No, it's not. But a lot of women forget that part of actually finding that connection would involve listening to their partner, mm. not just their partner having to listen to them.
And mm. all they really care about is physical attraction and gaining physical attention. So that might be in large part due to a lot of women only being focused on a man's finances. Mm. I don't know what kind of world we're living in, but honestly, if someone is not willing to connect on a mental spiritual level, like it's just not happening. I'm sorry. Women like this complain about dealing with men, but they're actually just focusing their mating strategy in fuckboys and wonder why they just get fucked. And they keep on going back to these guys time after time after time again. Literally, it's insanity. You're going to the same type of man and expecting different types of outcomes. We are living in the kind of world that modern feminism has created. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me, I go to Toros and Reviews at gmail.com. Guys. Get down in my comment section right now and tell me, you guys, what you thought about the collection of clips that I went over here today. Last but not least, this whole video was uploaded to my Patreon first. If you guys want to see content before it gets released or if you just want to support me as a content creator to ensure that I can continue to upload content like this, then click the link in the description box down below, beam up, and I'll see you soon. Until next time, YouTube! Peace. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight gap. I'm reminded of my state they lack. Every time they incline, we go way back. All they wanna be is just.